Hi, I hope you're doing really well. In today's video, I am sharing two brand new natural but science-based products launched from a huge global brand, which has been around since 1996, and why in 2020, they decided to launch a more natural and eco-conscious range. talking about philosophy skincare. These guys are all about combining science and nature, but also giving something back. They have an amazing charity called Hope and Grace, which is all about supporting women's mental health and well-being, which is something that's really close to my heart. If you haven't heard of philosophy skincare, their purity cleanser is the number one facial cleanser in America. That's insane. Philosophy were also the first brand to launch at-home peels, which is an amazing feat. If you kind of think how many brands now have at-home peels, and being an esthetician, I am such a huge fan of peels within treatments and at homes. I actually did a video about a brightening at home facial which you can find and that is using all of the philosophy peels and there's also a blog I think you'll find as well. Okay, so let's talk naturals. The range that launched last year in 2020 is called Nature in a Jar. You've got your cleansers, your moisturizers, some beautiful body oils as well. And it's a little bit of an evolution from their core skin and body care products. So as such a huge global brand, Philosophy were really aware that the world is changing. What we now want from our products, from an eco-conscious point of view, or maybe the environment that we're living in, our stress levels, is really different to when they first launched. So they felt that there was a real need for this nature in a jar evolution. So I suppose what's different about the nature in a jar is, a lot of the actives are naturally derived, they're plant-based, and the packaging, let me show you these, the glass and the plastics are, a huge percentage is post-consumer. So some of it has already been recycled and everything in this particular range is recyclable. And that also goes for the card that is used in the, the boxes and the packaging as well. Okay, so let's jump in with the new products. First up is Nature in a Jar Skin Reset Serum. This has Bacuchiol in. Now, if you're into your naturals, you have possibly heard of Bacuchiol. It is being touted as the alternative to retinol. I love a good retinol, they're vitamin A based. Bacuchiol is a vegan plant based. It's from the Babchi plant. It's got a longer name than that, but I can't even begin to pronounce the full name, so I'll go for the shorter version. So, as I said, it's vegan, it's plant based. It's being touted as being similar to a retinol because it speeds cell turnover, it stimulates collagen production, so it's good for the fine lines and wrinkles. But what's really different is obviously it's not a vitamin A, so it is safe during pregnancy. Um, it also has a soothing effect on the skin, whereas retinol definitely doesn't have any soothing ability. So actually, if you are using retinols, you can combine it with your bacuchiols. So blended with your bacuchiol, you have an olive leaf extract, which is packed with essential fatty acids and a whole load of hyaluronic acid. I do have another video all about hyaluronic. It's great for holding that hydration within the skin. So being totally honest, I don't think there isn't a skin type that this particular serum isn't going to be good for. It's adding that hydration, it's got the essential fatty acids and it's got that boost of the cell turnover and the kind of support of the wrinkles, let's say the anti-age, uh, with the Bacuchiol. So it's kind of a little, a bit of an all-in-one serum that is gonna work for a lot of skin types. Best to use it, I'd always give it a shake, Nice squishy pipette. Let me bring up texture, if you can see that. You'll see it's white. There's a little bit of viscosity to it. It's a hydrating texture. Unlike your other actives, there's no sensation with Bacuchiol. So I would be using this 
Actually, you can use it morning and night. That's another key difference between a retinoid and a Bacuccio. Cleanse the skin. If you want to tone the skin, you could tone. Then go on with your Bacuccio. Then you might, dependent on what your skin is doing, you might then want to go on top with another product, something really hydrating, or because this has got the hyaluronic and the olive leaf oil, if you're prone to a little bit more of a combination skin, you actually might just want to finish with that in the evening. In the day, I would definitely be cleansing, toning this moisturizer SPF. So it's an easy one to slot into your routine. And as I said, if you have got retinoids as well in your night routine, you could actually cleanse, put your retinoid on, and then some of this on the top. So interestingly, some of the clinical studies that Philosophy have done on the new products, this particular product, I think 81% of women said that they felt a reduction in wrinkles, which is amazing. Okay, so the second new product from Philosophy is called Skin Rehab Balm. This, even though it's called a balm, I will show you the texture, it's not, I think some people think or expect a balm to be a bit more oily and thick. This isn't, it's not got that texture. Yes, it feels really hydrating, but there's still a slight wateriness to it. So I don't want you to be put off if you kind of think, oh, balms, they're too oily and thick and greasy. This is not that type of product, okay? This is like, a superfood boost for the skin at night. So this is another night product, okay? The idea is that you'll cleanse your skin, you could tone, you could put a serum on, and then you'd put some of this on. Nice to put all over face, neck, and decollete. This is for skin that's a little bit stressed, a bit fatigued, maybe feeling a bit dry, and you're just, I don't know, you're just feeling you need a bit of an overnight boost. So when I'm saying it's a bit like a superfood boost for the skin, there's a whole load of wheatgrass in here, which is mega antioxidant. You've got broccoli, ginger. So it really has got a whole load of those superfoods packed into it. And a whole load of omega three, six, and nine. So that's where we get in the kind of oil content and then we've got the mega antioxidants as well. With some of the clinical studies that Philosophy did on this product, people were seeing an improvement in skin hydration by 156%. So this is definitely a nighttime product. I suppose it's a little bit like an overnight mask, really, or a really nourishing moisturizer that's gonna be soothing and restoring to the skin as well. And obviously that mega pack of hydration. So yeah, cleanse, tone, put your actives on, and then go on with this. You could use it once a week, up to three times a week, you know, it's very much what you feel your skin needs. It might be that if you are using retinols and you're kind of only stepping them into your routine, so maybe you're using a retinol once every three nights, you could be using something like a skin rescue serum with a Bacucciol the nights in between and also uh, something like, I'm gonna call this the superfood balm. I know it's not called the superfood balm, it's called the skin rehab balm. Uh, but you could also be using that on one of the alternate nights as well. So this can be used morning and night, and this is definitely that nighttime product and can totally fit in with whatever your routine is currently. I think it's really admirable to see brands like Philosophy, which are such huge global brands, making these steps to be more eco-conscious. You know, none of us are perfect and we've all got such a long way to go when it comes to being the best that we can with the eco-conscious side of things, but it's a huge step in the right direction to be seeing these brands do that. So thank you so much for watching. I love sharing these videos with you. If you have any brands you would love me to do a review of, any products you would like me to review, please put your comments below, and I really look forward to seeing you again soon.